A group of our neighbors chose a big Memorial Day celebration in D.C. as a place to protest. Their decision is driven by the airstrike on a tent camp in Gaza that killed dozens of people and injured hundreds more. Here's Matthew Torres with another story that's all new at 11. As we remember the lives lost serving our country this Memorial Day, past the flags and music, there's a group echoing an ongoing outcry we've seen in our country for months. Ultimately, we're advocating for Palestinian liberation, self-determination, and a ceasefire is only the first step. Alexandria for Palestinian Human Rights is among the grassroots organizations holding a demonstration during the parade in D.C. Amid the Israel-Hamas war, the group is protesting one of the parade sponsors, Boeing, for its military ties to Israel. They turn unguided mun munitions into guided munitions targeting Palestinian lives. People have done nothing to deserve this. This comes at a time when Israeli airstrikes sparked a fire that killed at least 45 people, including children, in a tent camp of the Gazan city, Rafah. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling the incident a tragic mishap. Civilian casualties are desperately sad. But this is the war Hamas wanted and started. Meanwhile, calls for a deal by the Israeli government to bring back Israeli hostages held by Hamas in Gaza are intensifying. Alexandria for Palestinian Human Rights has already interrupted the city council meeting, demanding for leaders to call for a ceasefire, and recently protested a gala held by Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. If we are standing by and doing nothing when we see evil occurring, um, we are just as complicit and just as responsible. Seven months since the war began, this group with the same mission as many others shows no signs of slowing down. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.